So you're in university, you sit down in your lectures, you have all the equipment in front of you and you're motivated to take notes. The lecturer introduces themselves and the content for the first 5 to 10 minutes and you're fully engaged with them, but 15 minutes pass, then 20 minutes, then suddenly your eye bags feel heavier, the lecturer starts explaining things you've never heard before and you start falling behind your notes. But at the same time, your attention span starts to fall and fall and fall. We've all been in this situation as university students and in this video I'm going to teach you how we can overcome this problem. My name is Aldrich, I'm a mechatronics and robotics graduate from the University of Sheffield and consider subscribing because mate, I'm about to share some gold with you. Firstly, the biggest mistake that people make in lectures is having false expectations. Do not, I repeat, do not go into the lectures with the mindset of, oh, I need to understand everything because no matter what lecture you're in, right, that's just almost impossible. Instead, you should be going into your lectures with the mindset of, oh, I'm here to just be exposed to the new ideas and to just appreciate them. It's only after the lecture is when you should be refining your understanding, solidifying your notes and to overall just sh understand what was taught in the lecture. Also, we live in an age of social media where humans, especially like young people, our attention spans have fallen so much. For example, a typical TikTok video is what? Up to 60 seconds long. But if the video isn't entertaining or brings some value in the first five seconds, then what do we do? We just continue scrolling. Now imagine bringing that subconscious mindset into your lectures where more complex ideas are being explained and naturally requires more time to absorb. You can imagine people start being impatient and just give up on studying when things just don't make Makes sense. Is it bad that I don't know anything here? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Which is why I'm telling you, you need to be patient when it comes to studying because trust me, yeah, if you're putting in the work, the concepts will click, I promise you, but not in five seconds, not even five minutes or even five weeks. It, it does take time. That's the reality of learning challenging things, absorbing complex ideas and understanding abstract concepts like it is what it is. So with that in mind, the first tip to absorbing information quickly during your lectures is to listen more than taking notes. A ratio that worked best for me was 70% listening, 30% note taking. Overall, from my note taking experience from university, I can tell you that making, focusing on making highly detailed notes in the lecture is a complete waste of time. The exception here is that if your teacher likes to write things on a whiteboard and isn't recorded online. Typically my course mates and my friends from other degrees, we go into illusion mode where you're writing notes thinking you're learning the material. But when you come back to your notes, you're thinking, what on earth did I just write? I had one course mate, yeah, who would take no notes during lectures. I, I, was, I was shocked, he, he would just sit there, listen, and then just listen, listen, and by the end of the lecture, he would have a better understanding of the lecture better than I did and I was writing like oh I was writing I was on a mad one but he was just there listening and that really inspired me to just do the same thing and it works like I said you're in lectures to appreciate the concepts not to fully understand them straight away if you're able to understand the lecture straight away you know what? good for you but you should spend more time appreciating the bigger picture and how everything sort of fits in together. The intricate details comes after your lectures, as I said, like refining your notes, solidifying your understanding, and using other resources like YouTube videos and your books, or ideally talking to your course mates and collaborating with them and sharing what you understand about the lecture and it's more fun that way. The second tip is to take handwritten notes instead of typing. I've experimented with both typing and handwriting your notes and personally, handwriting is much, much better. And I don't know anybody who prefers typing the notes. Yes, I agree with you that handwriting notes is slower, but that's actually the advantage because you're forced to focus on the bigger picture, how things fit together, and you prioritize on just highlighting the key points. Otherwise, you'll be falling behind your notes. And this encourages you to just listen 
more than you taking notes. Imagine, yeah, you're in lectures with me, yeah. You sit down and then, you know what, we put our bags down and we say, ha ha wagwan, right? When the lecturer is talking and stuff, he is placing the dots on the page. Now that you have like a vague, bigger picture of the lecture, yeah, when you start to review your lecture afterwards, yeah, it's just going to click much faster and you will connect the dots like crazy. You'll you'll figure out, oh, that's why he was explaining this. And then the end of the lecture, he said this. Why couldn't he say that in the beginning? Oh, who, oh well, that's why, you know, things will just click, I promise you. The third tip to absorbing information quickly is to spend five minutes before the lecture reading the learning objectives and the summaries. This tip will solve the problem of you asking questions such as, why does this lecture matter? What's the point of me being here? <laughs> why should I care? If a lecture is well written and the lecturer is of high quality, yeah, they will have clear learning objectives at the beginning of the lecture and clear summaries at the end of the lecture. So right here is an example of a good lecture, yeah. Have a look, stability of systems, yeah. You literally scroll down and boom, you see that? You see this? Aims of the lecture. I am, I'm going to be introduced to the concept of system stability. I'm also going to be introduced to the idea of state trajectories, face portraits, Lapinov stability and asymptotic stability. You see, how long did that take? It took me seconds to read that. And afterwards, after you've read that, at the, before the lecture starts, just read the summaries. What did I say? Why are you in lectures? There, to appreciate the ideas. There you go, there you go. See, it says here, stability is arguably the most important property of any dynamical system. And then you read on here and now you understand why you're in the lecture. Now you understand why you should care. This is going to be in the exam. You, 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 know, you know why you should be there. This is an example of a bad lecture. So sampling and interpretation. Yeah. As soon as you scroll the first slide, what is this? Most physical unfold. What is this? Why am I here? What is, what's this slide? What's, what? Huh? Can you tell that I've not even have not even wrote, written my notes here? It's mad. You see, ow! Oh, what? 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 What is this? It makes no sense in English if we sample uniform. That just what? Huh? 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 Okay. Surely there's a summary. Now is that is that the summary? What is... You see how it took less than five minutes to me to read the learning objectives and the summaries before the lecture. Like you can even just sit down in lectures, right? And just read it before the lecture starts. It's that simple. But you must also have that intention of learning like, oh, okay, so that's why I care. I'm going to learn about stability in this lecture. This, this is an important concept because this is going to tie in with the coursework later. So yeah, having an appreciation of the learning objectives and the summaries will help you focus in the lecture. If it's a good lecture, the learning objectives and summaries will be clear. If it's a bad lecture, it's a bit of an L, to be honest. It's going to be a lot harder for you to focus, but as long as you have a sense of why you're there, why you should care, and have that intention of wanting to learn that material, the focusing part will take care of itself. So to summarize, go into your lectures with proper expectations, which means go into lectures with the mindset of, oh, I'm there to just appreciate the new concepts and to try my best to see the bigger picture see how everything fits together, i.e. you're putting dots on the page. After the lecture, you are connecting the dots by focusing on the smaller details. You are reviewing the material again. You're watching videos on YouTube or whatever to solidify or to relearn those new concepts. You can do that by yourself, but ideally doing it with your course mates is a lot more fun. Make sure in lectures you are listening more than you are taking notes. Make sure you're handwriting your notes instead of typing your notes for better information retention. You should only consider typing if it's actually useful for you and if it's useful within the context of the lecture. And finally, spend less than five minutes reading the learning objectives and the summaries of your lecture. And starts to fall and fall and fall. <laughs> How's that?